ಇನ್ನು ಕೆಲವೇ ಹೊತ್ತಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಮುಖ್ಯಮಂತ್ರಿಗಳ ಹೈಕೋರ್ಟ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಾಸಿಕ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಭವಿಷ್ಯ ನಿರ್ಧಾರ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಹೈಕೋರ್ಟ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಾಸಿಕ್ಯೂಷನ್ ರಿಟ್ ಅರ್ಜಿ ವಿಚಾರಣೆಗೆ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಹೈಕೋರ್ಟ್ಗೆ ಈಗಾಗಲೇ ಗವರ್ನರ್ ಪರ ವಕೀಲರು ಆಗಮಿಸಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಗವರ್ನರ್ ಪರ ವಕೀಲರು ಸಾಲಿಸಿಟರ್ ಜನರಲ್ ತುಷಾರ್ ಮೆಹ್ತಾ ಗವರ್ನರ್ ಪರ ವಾದವನ್ನು ಮಂಡಿಸ್ತಾರೆ ಸಿ ಎಂ ಪರ ಈಗಾಗಲೇ ಅಭಿಷೇಕ್ ಮನು ಸಿಂಘ್ವಿ ವಾದ ಮಂಡನೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಇವತ್ತು ಗವರ್ನರ್ ಮತ್ತು ದೂರುದಾರರ ಪರ ವಾದ ಮಂಡನೆಯಾಗುತ್ತೆ ವಾದ ಆಲಿಸಿದ ಬಳಿಕ ತೀರ್ಪನ್ನ ಹೈಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಕೊಡುತ್ತೆ ದೂರುದಾರರು ಮೂರು ಜನ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಒಂದು ರಾಜ್ಯಪಾಲರಿಗೆ ಅನುಮತಿಯನ್ನು ಕೇಳಿ ಸಲ್ಲಿಸಿದ್ದಂಥ ದೂರುಗಳು ಅಬ್ರಾಹಂ ಒಂದು ಹೈಕೋರ್ಟ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಈಗಾಗಲೇ ಮುಖ್ಯಮಂತ್ರಿಗಳ ವಿಚಾರದ ಇ ಪ್ರಾಸಿಕ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಅರ್ಜಿ ರಿಟ್ ಅರ್ಜಿಯ ವಿಚಾರಣೆ ಆರಂಭ ಆಗಿದೆ ಸಾಲಿಸಿಟರ್ ಜನರಲ್ ತುಷಾರ್ ಮೆಹ್ತಾ ರಾವ್ ಆಗಮನ ಆಗಿದೆ ರಾಜ್ಯಪಾಲರ ಪರ ವಾದವನ್ನು ಇವತ್ತು ತುಷಾರ್ ಮೆಹ್ತಾ ಮಂಡಿಸ್ತಾರೆ ಈಗಾಗಲೇ ಹೈಕೋರ್ಟ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಮುಖ್ಯಮಂತ್ರಿಗಳ ಪ್ರಾಸಿಕ್ಯೂಷನ್ಗೆ ಸಂಬಂಧಪಟ್ಟ ರಿಟ್ ಅರ್ಜಿಯ ವಿಚಾರಣೆ ಆರಂಭ ಆಗಿದೆ ದೂರುದಾರರು ಸ್ನೇಹಮಯಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಟಿ ಜೆ ಅಬ್ರಾಮ್ ಅವರ ಪರ ವಕೀಲರ ದೂಲು ವಾದಗಳನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ಇವತ್ತು ಹೈಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಆಲಿಸುತ್ತೆ ಯಾಕೆ ಈ ನಿರ್ಧಾರವನ್ನು ರಾಜ್ಯಪಾಲರು ಕೈಗೊಂಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಯಾಕೆ ಈ ಪ್ರಕರಣ ತನಿಖೆ ಆಗಬೇಕು ಎಲ್ಲ ವಿಚಾರಗಳನ್ನು ಇವತ್ತು ಹೈಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಮುಂದೆ ದೂರುದಾರರು ಮತ್ತು ರಾಜ್ಯಪಾಲರ ಪರ ವಕೀಲರು ಮಂಡನೆ ವಾದ ಮಂಡನೆ ಮಾಡಲಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಈಗಾಗಲೇ ನೀವು ಗಮನಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀರಿ ವಿಧಾನಸೌಧದ ಗಾಂಧಿ ಪ್ರತಿಮೆಯ ಮುಂಭಾಗದಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆಸ್ನ ಜನಪ್ರತಿನಿಧಿಗಳು ಪ್ರತಿಭಟನೆ ಕೂತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಡಿ ಸಿ ಎಂ ಡಿ ಕೆ ಶಿವಕುಮಾರ್ ಅವರು ಕೂಡ ಈಗಾಗಲೇ ಆಗಮಿಸಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಬಹುತೇಕ ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆಸ್ ನಾಯಕರುಗಳು ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಪ್ರತಿಭಟನೆಯಲ್ಲಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಕೆಲವೇ ಕ್ಷಣಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಮುಖ್ಯಮಂತ್ರಿಗಳು ಕೂಡ ಜಾಯಿನ್ ಆಗ್ತಾರೆ ಮುಖ್ಯಮಂತ್ರಿಗಳ ಆಗಮನದ ನಂತರ ರ್ಯಾಲಿ ಹೊರಡುತ್ತೆ ನೇರವಾಗಿ ರಾಜ್ಯಪಾಲ ಭವನಕ್ಕೆ ಆನರೇಬಲ್ ಚೀಫ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಫಾರ್ ಕಮಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಫೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಸೋನ್ ಸೋನ್ ಸೋ ಅದು ಪ್ರಿವೆನ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರಪ್ಷನ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ಲಿ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ದಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರೇರ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಟೂ ಎಟ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಎಟ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಆಫ್ ಭಾರತೀಯ ನ್ಯಾಯ ಸಮಿತಿ ದಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಪಿಟಿಷನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಎಟ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ನಾವು ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದೀಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಎನಿ ಪ್ರಾವಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಐದರ್ ದಿ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಪಿನಲ್ ಕೋಡ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಬಿ ಎನ್ ಎಸ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಟು ಪ್ರಾಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಪ್ರಾವಿಷನ್ಸ್ ನಾ ಆಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆನರಬಲ್ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಅವೇರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಪ್ರಾವಿಷನ್ಸ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಜುಲೈ ದಿ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಅಲೆಜ್ಡ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನೆಸ್ಟ್ ದಿ ಪಿಟಿಷನರ್ಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ನಾಟ್ ಅಗೇನೆಸ್ಟ್ ದಿ ಪಿಟಿಷನರ್ಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ended on 5 1 2022 when the allotment of sites was made admittedly on that date bns was not there was not there. Okay. how can there be a prosecution of health under a law which are kindly permit no, me to show talking of post facto law article 20 may kindly yes push. yes i agree it cannot it is it has to be prospect i have an answer to that yes. ಪ್ರಯ but that is not the case here since there is no mention of any one of these provisions in the entire body of the order of the governor so on that count alone this order has to go is my very respectful it's, it's and here, the, sec- here sec- the others second aspect is that ultimately all the allegations are against parvati and her brother not a single allegation against the petitioner as having passed an order having taken a decision oh, made a recommend elaborately submitted that, that is yes no the point i am submitting is is there vicarious liability of a husband for the deeds of either the brother in law or the wife that's a short question which no you. that stage of uh, drawing in vicarious liability on investigation or on something no, no, else is not yet arrived right? that not husband is liable
not the scheme of the architecture oh, of ys ys obligation is well understood but there is no such ys obligations are well understood ys <laughs> <Pious> obligations <laughs> yes yes but, but husband's obligation for the crimes of the lady <laughs> that means we'll is, hear this also so one of the ys obligation on the lighter side yes. is not to shift a criminal liability on the wife to take on himself yeah yes but that, that is one of the pious that is on the lightest yes yes yes, yes. Lord, uh, my submissions are Lord, in uh, five compart six compartments yes sir um, Lord, first Lord, the arguments are advanced about the scope of the governor's power under section 17a yes relying upon the parameters prescribed under section 19 yes sir Lord, I would wish to assist your lordships on the question that Section 17A stage yes. and application of mine. Well, I'll take your lordships through. Lord, I'm just giving an yes. uh, outline of what I'm respectfully assisting your lordship with. Yes. What are the dif what are the differences between the provisions of 17A and 19, and resultantly, what will be the parameters of governors? jurisdiction, governor's power or governor's duty, whatever we may call it, while exercising powers under 17A or 19. Second, my respectful submission is that the parameters of the governor's jurisdiction under 17A would be akin to what is described by the Honorable Supreme Court in Lalita Kumari's case. That he has to see a prima facie case whether the facts emerges a cognizable offence or not. If the facts reflects commission of a cognizable offence, he is not a judge. He is not supposed to uh, sit in appeal and decide whether offence is committed, not committed. He has to say that yes, as alleged, there is a cognizable offence and he has to uh, discharge his function under 17A. Third, the decision of the governor because of two reasons, by the virtue of the office he holds, and he deals with other constitutional functionaries generally, and considering the very nature and scope of Section 17A, is such that his reasons, which are recorded in the order of approving 17A investigation, need not be elaborate. It must reflect application of mind nonetheless, because any elaborate reasonings will have a tendency of prejudicing the potential accused during the investigation as well as during the trial. But I must show it's the duty of uh, my Lord, the governor to show that there is an application of mine and thereafter the reasons are recorded and the reasons can be found from the file also. The next submission my Lord, which I am uh, making Lord, my learned friend's argument was that in case of one, uh, one complainant, the governor issued notice. In two cases, the honorable governor did not issue notice. Lord, my respectful submission in law, and which I will substantiate by my Lord, the provisions as well as the legal uh, interpretations given by the courts, yes. that at the stage of 17A, there is no requirement of any principles of natural justice. Yes. He may have chosen to issue notice in one case, but non-issuance of notice, even in that one case, would not have created any prejudice to anyone because in law, there is no contemplation of hearing. And I will elaborate, Malod. At to, the stage of 17. At the stage of 17. Because Supreme Court has went to the extent of saying, even at the stage of 19, hearing is not required. Yes. Yes, because 19 is post investigation. Yes. Lord, next contention I would, my Lord, assist your Lordship with is why the governor was required to act in his own discretion and not, my Lord, as per the aid and advice as, my Lord, contended by the petitioner. Aid and advice of the Council of Ministers under Article 163 of the Constitution will have no application when the Honorable Chief Minister is facing an allegation. I'm saying only allegation. Yes. It is yet to be decided. And the governor is called upon to decide 17A. 
Lord, the submission, my Lord, which my learned uh, senior, my Lord, uh, just now made. Yes. Uh, uh, Professor Ravi Kumar Verma, my Lord, a very eminent counsel, my Lord. I have, I have it an yes. occasion to oppose him in one of the reservation matters before the Constitution bench. My Lord, the submission is that mention of BNS vitiates the decision of the governor. My Lord, that submission is required to be, my Lord, only pointed out to be rejected for the simple reason that suppose IPC offenses are also mentioned. The governor will not go under 17A which offenses are made out. Governor will only say that yes, prima facie, criminal offenses are made out and it will be for the investigating officer to decide under what provisions charge sheet, if any, is to be filed. Because the investigation may result into filing of the charge sheet. It might result into filing of a closure report. But in the event of filing of a charge sheet, the investigating officer will take his own independent decision based on the material of the record that these are the provisions which are attracted, which not in a given Little case earlier of also procedure, it is not yet referred even for investigation. So while referring, these crimes may be noted, may not be noted. Correct, Madhur. Yes, and even, even if it is noted, <clears throat> IO will not be bound by them. Maybe the governor has missed two, three sections, hypothetically. The IO can still say that the Honorable Governor did not have full facts. They were the, the Honorable Governor was relying upon only a written complaint. Now I have investigated, I have documentary evidence, I have oral evidence, I have other evidence, and now I feel that three other sections are also required to be added. Then he would add it. So mention of BNS, IPC, or any of the sections, or non-mention thereof, would not vitiate the order. In any case, will not cause any prejudice to the petitioner so as to give him an opportunity to challenge it on that ground. And last, my Lord, which again, my Lord, my learned senior friend, my Lord, mentioned that the criminal liability of the husband, uh, of the wife, cannot be attributed to the husband. Dr. Singhvi also made a submission that uh, I have not made any recommendation. If that is so, then fine, then 17A is not required. The complainant can straightway proceed with the criminal uh, complaints. Then 17A goes, well, their problem is solved. They should withdraw the petition that I have not done anything in my official capacity. I have not recommended anything. I am not involved. Maybe my wife was beneficiary. All right, then 17A is not required. Then what are we arguing for? Why are we troubling your lordship with? By showing justification for validity of 17A order. Look, it's a self-defeating suicidal argument in my respectful submission. Now, my lords, I'll... Uh, lord, I have prepared a summary of my submissions. Lord. Yes, sir. And uh, so far as government's, governor's application of mind is concerned, Lord, I have gone through the file. I will share the file with your lordships. Yes. And without making it a precedent, yes. I will share with the other side also. Yes. Though, my lord, in law, my submission okay. is that the a potential accused cannot have an access yes. to that file. But we don't wish, my lord, anything to, to play hide and seek. My lord, I'll show it to the petitioner also that this is the application of mine. And based upon the considerations which are reflected from the file, Oh, 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 oh,